This is genius. How couldn't I see this earlier? I mean, it's so obvious and simple, yet it changes everything. If you want to know what the hell I mean by that, just watch the video. By the way, it's about learning languages and how to make it easier. And faster, of course. Привет, солнце, как дела? My name is Rima and I've been learning languages for as long as I can remember. So if you want to learn at least one foreign language, I'm sure I have something valuable to share with you. You've got your things to do, I've got mine, so let's just stick to the point. This enlightenment moment happened to me when I started learning Japanese. My native language is Russian and Japanese is so different from anything I've ever tried to learn. So the only way for me to memorize the Japanese alphabet was... No, wait, two ways. I will tell you about two ways that actually helped me memorize the characters. And I'm sure if you apply them to the language you want to learn, it will help you greatly. The first one is the most obvious, repetition. Some people say it takes about 30 repetitions to memorize something efficiently. Others suggest 7-3-2-1 method. When you learn something today, repeat tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, and on the seventh day. There are different techniques to improve your memory, but the main idea is that you have to repeat something in order to memorize it. Seems too easy, but wait for it. What I've noticed trying to observe my own way of learning helped me realize that every time it takes a different amount of repetitions for me to actually memorize something. When I can concentrate better, it happens faster. Either concentrate or repeat more. But there is another way and it changes everything. You don't even have to repeat. I mean, at all. It just sticks to your memory immediately. Any ideas? Associations! And now I will tell you why this method is genius and how you can use it for your purposes. Ready? First of all, it's a win-win method because whenever you try to associate something with something else, you actively train your brain to start doing it faster the next time you try to do the same thing. You start the practice once and you benefit from it every time thereafter. I can't believe I said thereafter. It's like training a muscle. Yeah, it can hurt in the beginning, but what does it take? One, two days compared to the results you get. Now I'm going to show you my own example so that you can see how to use it. I have a cat. Her full name is Miluchiro. When I came across the word shiro in Japanese, I realized that it sounds almost like the part of my cat's name, chiro. Miluchiro, shiro. And guess what it means? It means white. She's white. I never ever had to force my memory to do it again. The second time I saw this word, I already knew what it was. So I didn't have to repeat it at all. Now the important part. Not every time these associations come naturally. Sometimes you just stare at something and it doesn't ring any bells. In this case, you'll have to use repetition. But imagine how much it would simplify this process if you could use these associations every time you want to learn something new. I bet a lot. And right now, I want you to write a comment with at least one association you can come up with for these words. Красивый. Beautiful. Красивый. Тарелка. Plate. Тарелка. И неожиданно. Unexpectedly. Неожиданно. Start training your memory today and see how much it will help you learn faster. Looking forward to seeing your replies. And if you want to learn Russian with me, Russian word. Right here.